What's up everyone? I am sitting on the floor in front of my HVAC unit here because I've had a constant leak going through my floors down through the ceiling of the, the basement and I didn't know for a little while until my guest and my cleaner at this Airbnb told me about it and it's just been a big pain in my side for the longest time. Couldn't figure out why it was doing that. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done, how extremely easy it is to do. So here's my HVAC system. Condensation line goes straight down into this pump, which pumps the condensation all the way up through the attic and outside. Problem is that there is no P-trap here, so water just keeps getting sucked back into this unit. That's one of two issues. This is the issue I'm gonna fix here today. And what's been happening is Water has just been streaming out right here, which I have a photo of just how much water just keeps going straight down Going into this return box here, which I'll take you to the other side Into here and Dripping from up there Soaking all of this carpet down here. There's even some water in here that I finally caught on the last time or my cleaner actually did This is a rental property so today I'm gonna to quickly show you how to fix that using a P-trap. Let's get into it. Excuse the messy workshop here. I just got done with my remodel and this is more important than organizing this right now because we have a leak. But this is all you really need. You need your primer for your PVC and your PVC glue, a PVC cutter, and possibly a deburring tool. Over here are the types of pipe you'll need or the adapters, right? You have your three quarter inch PVC pipe here two of the T's, a P-trap. Now these come in many different shapes and sizes or you could build your own similar one. I'll throw up a diagram of what some other people do right here. And then I'm gonna have a, a coupling which really just extends PVC to more PVC and a cap. Now all of these are very important. Again, you'll see many different designs online but this has all the foolproof pieces that you need to have the best possible working condensation line. I'm gonna build most of this here in the workshop and then take it over to the HVAC system and finish it up there. So let's begin. So let's go ahead and build this. I'm gonna start by cutting some of this pipe up. Doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna do like four or five inch sections. Doesn't need to be perfect. One of the tricks is to continue to rotate the pipe so you don't crush it. If you just squeeze in one direction, you're gonna crush the pipe. So you wanna keep rotating the pipe as you're squeezing down. All right, here we go. All right, let me go ahead and assemble this for you. What I did is I cut my two foot pipe here into three smaller pieces. These are about, I don't know, four inches, four and a half. It's pretty arbitrary. Here's the diagram, right? This is the pipe coming out of the HVAC. And then I'm going to attach it to a T, just like that. I'm doing it from your point of view, by the way. So this is how you're gonna see it. Then I'm gonna add this P-trap here. Again, comes in many different shapes and sizes that you can find online. Attach that there, and I'm gonna glue all this, by the way. Then I'm gonna add a coupler. Then I'm gonna get my shortest piece here. I'm just gonna get this one here, put that on. I'm not pushing this all the way together yet. Another T over there. So let me put the shortest one here. It doesn't really matter, just for aesthetics, I guess. And then this one up top as well. So again, from your point of view, these are sticking upwards. Now this one will have a cap and it's, you have to cap this. You do not want the side before the P-trap to be vented. This needs to be capped. But what this allows you to do, the reason why we have this, instead of just having an elbow here is, I can clean out this P-trap if needed. If debris gets in there or whatever, I could pour bleach, vinegar, some, whatever down there, I can clean it out pretty easily by removing this cap. But you wanna keep the cap on there when you're not cleaning it because you don't want this to be vented. However, you do want this to be vented, just like the plumbing in your house. Everywhere you have a toilet, shower, faucet, you have a vent that goes out through your roof, or you should. So this allows all this system to work and flow correctly, no gurgling or anything like that. And then I will cut off actually one more piece of my, ex my two foot here to have this extend down into my, I'm gonna have a pump that pumps my condensation out you may just have your line running directly down and outside your house. Either way, 
you continue your pipe down through there however far you need it to go. Let's get this going and really install it now. One other thing, my cuts actually came out pretty clean, so I don't necessarily need to deburr it. But if you, if you do cut yours on a chop saw or something, you want to deburr it and just clean up some of that edging there. Okay, here's my cap piece there. When I'm pushing in, I'm also rotating about 25 degrees or whatever, a quarter turn, and then holding it. Hold it for about 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna clean off that extra glue. Can somebody down in the comments tell me why everyone cleans off the extra glue? I wonder if it's just a look or if it's supposed to actually do something. If you have extra glue, maybe it's easy to, I don't know, what's the reasoning behind that? Let me know. Time for the P-trap and now it's important to actually line this stuff up. P-trap needs to go the opposite direction of this piece, so. All right, while I have you, so the process of this is you actually prime the inside first, then you prime the outside, then you come back and prime the inside again, then you glue the outside, then you glue the inside, and then you re-glue the outside. So it's like a six step thing there. Again, rotate 25 degrees, quarter turn, whatever. I can't believe none of y'all stopped me. Why did I glue this cap on? How am I supposed to clean this out? If the cap is glued on. Oh man, that sucks. Whatever, if I ever have to clean this out, I'll come back, cut it and add a new cap. For now, it's a glued on cap. Do not glue the cap on. You have to be able to remove it. Water isn't coming up this direction. You don't need glue up here. Completely spaced out. This doesn't have a cap at all. It's your vent. There you have it. I'll start by removing this pump here. I'm gonna move this to the side. And I'm gonna put my P-trap over here. And I'm gonna put this like right here. So I need to cut this pipe off a little bit. Okay. Before I glue everything, I'm just gonna make sure that all this still fits with the piping, plumbing, this hose, I should say. Yep, that'll work right there. And I'm gonna put something on the floor so the primer and stuff doesn't drip all over it. You do wanna make sure that this is going a little bit downhill. You don't want it up like that, obviously. A little downhill. There we go. Now I should probably get a new pump soon, but this one's working for now. There we go. All right, I'm setting this to 67 degrees, which is way cooler than it needs to be for this area. But the problem started happening when a guest had it at like 68 for the whole weekend. This is an Airbnb, so people are here from Florida usually looking for a really cool place, cold place to be. Um, even though we're lakeside, they could just take a, a dip in the lake out there. But 67 degrees, right? Um, so I'm gonna test that for, you know, while I do other things around this house, make sure that it works and there's no more leakage in there. But one other thing to take note of when you're doing yours, this will most likely solve that issue, but the other problem could be, look, check this return vent out. There's so much suction going through there and that's a pretty new vent there. Um, there's not a lot of return air getting to my unit. So I'm gonna add another return vent downstairs, not in this video, but a return vent downstairs to give this about 200 square inches more. This is about 400 square inches right here. It's 20 by 20. I need about 200 square inches more because it's a three ton unit and you need 200 square inches per ton in today's standards. So I'm missing 200 square inches of return space. I'm gonna add that and that'll allow the AC unit to get more airflow to it. If you don't get a lot of airflow, your AC unit could freeze over and when that frost melts, it could cause water to run through your floor and, and leak through this machine. So that could be another reason why this is leaking. Most likely it's a P-trap, but we'll give it a check here and I'll get back to you. So it's running. Water's shooting up through this hose just like it should be. I can hear it going. I can see little bubbles running through there. See that? 
There it is. Yep. All right, it's drying out. So water is running through there really quick right now, already. There's no leaks on this. It's pulling in a lot more water than it was. So I can already tell you right there, that water was being sucked back into here rather than coming out the proper way it was supposed to. It took only about a couple minutes and I can hear it dripping rapidly. So water is just streaming through here and circulating out. Before, not much water was dripping, slow drip out through here. Um, I mean, this is, this is good. I'm gonna check and make sure there's no leaks under here again in a minute. Other than that though, we just solved our issue. All right, now that that's all working, it looks like a lot of components to it, but you can buy a pre-made P-trap for condensation lines off of Amazon. They're about 10, 15 bucks, the same price as doing all this work. So if you don't have the PVC glue, a PVC cutter, uh, a deburring tool, all of that stuff, you can buy most of this already attached and assembled. Again, $10 on Amazon. I'll actually link it down below. It does the same thing and it even has a little clear pipe so you can see if there's debris buildup and, and things like that. But So check that out. I'm glad you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far anyway, I know you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up for me, subscribe. I will see you all on the next video. Peace.